I call this the mature method to doing saint makeup and demi, and I break it down so easily today. I'm going to um, start with an opening, so five, six minutes, I'll be speaking to you, but then I'm cutting right to the tutorial and doing voiceover, so it's faster and easier, and for those of you who don't like long form, it'll be much faster and easier to follow along. But I've literally done it step by step so that you can do it step by step as well. There's always a free color match link if you need help with colors, but I know you can do this. I'm a 30-year educator, I can teach anybody, this method is so easy and you will feel so beautiful close up. So stay tuned. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I am Michelle Spieler, an over 25 year professional makeup artist. I worked in Hollywood and I'm the creator of Mature Makeup Masterclass. If you're not a student of Mature Makeup Masterclass yet, why? It's only 66, no, $67 for 22 videos all on mature technique. And I'm going to be adding more videos this fall and also throughout next year. So you get locked in at the, the price of 67 and you never have to pay another dime. Furthermore, I just bought a masterclass back in spring. Um, her name is Nikki, Nikki Makeup. She's on Instagram. She does a lot of young, beautiful models and, and celebrities and she's like a global ambassador for Dior and she works with really high-end luxury. Anyway, I bought her masterclass. Well, now you know what? Maybe I bought it last year. It was $120. And at the time I only got three videos for $120, but she just added season two and she's working on season three and I got locked in at $120. So now we're up to six videos for $120 you are getting 22 videos on Mature Technique for $67. It's a steal, okay? So you can always go to my link and um, watch a little bit more about it. I do an under two minute video on why I think every woman over 40 needs Mature Make Masterclass. And if you're under 40, maybe mid 30s to late 30s for sure, check it out. Okay. For the month of August, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently here. My hair is messy, what's new, right? I'm going to do shorter videos. One, I'm testing the algorithm. Two, I have a huge project in August, and so I really have to cut down the time. And it'll give you all a nice break because you're used to me you know, yammering on and on and on. So what I'm gonna do in August is I will open my video like this, speaking to you, um, and then I'm gonna cut to an edited video of makeup with a voiceover. It helps me to go quicker, it helps me to educate quicker. I cut out all the chit chat and we get down to the brass tacks. This week, I wanted to do a video because I get so many emails a week from women who have tried Saint in the past, they didn't like it, or they are struggling with it, um, they're, none of them are my customers. These women find me on YouTube. They come to me and ask me for help. And so this is a video today on how to do Saint for mature skin. So I'm going to use myself as a model, but if you were in my makeup chair, this is how I would do Saint makeup on you, anyone over 40. I don't care if you're 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Okay, this is how I would do makeup on anybody in my chair. I'm gonna keep it very simple. And one of the reasons I don't do the stripes and the polka dots is one, no professional makeup artist does that. That is something that Artists with Saint started and it's very fun for them and it caught a lot of people's attention and it's kind of polarizing, right? To see people poke it out their whole face and then take a big brush and blend it all in. So I can see how that can draw a lot of women in. But so, so many women said, this technique does not work for me. I get it. I don't do it on myself. And the problem is you have to consider this because a lot of younger artists will say, well, you have to let it warm up on the skin. And that's true. It is a cream-based, wax-based foundation. You do let it need to warm up to your body temperature a little bit, and then it blends really beautifully. 
But imagine we have a bunch of polka dots here and polka dots here and a big line of contour here. What happens if you have older, looser skin? Well, now the skin moves with the brush. That doesn't happen with young women. Young women, their skin stays pretty taut. Their skin stays in one place. But for us, look at this. The skin, and I've had a facelift. The skin moves with the brush. And so a lot of women can't get that beautiful blending because they have older, looser skin or crepier skin. That technique doesn't work. The polka dots and the stripes do not work on mature skin, most mature skin. Now my friend Donita, she's about my age. She has mature skin. She likes to do the little dots and polka dots and it looks gorgeous on her. So you won't know till you try it, but I'm just telling you for most mature women, if the brush is moving the skin, you're not actually blending it. And you're not gonna get a careful blend that looks pretty close up because of the nature of looser skin. So I had to preface that, okay? So we are going to start now. I'm going to show you how to skin prep because if you don't skin prep correctly, your makeup's never gonna look pretty. And I don't care if you're using Chanel or It Cosmetics or saint, you have to skin prep your skin for makeup. And if you're not willing to do that, then your makeup's never gonna be pretty. And I'm just speaking truth. I'm just speaking as a, I mean, I've literally done makeup for 30 years. I say over 25, but it's really more like 30 years, okay? You have to skin prep the skin and it's very important to wear SPF every day and that can be tricky under makeup. So everything has to be done just right and I will get into that right now, okay? So we're already to six minutes, I gotta go, but stay tuned because I'm gonna do the whole face. I'm gonna do voiceover, I'm gonna do skincare and I'm glad you're here. Okay, I'm gonna start with an essence because it makes my skin like a, a damp sponge. It just absorbs more skincare, but you could even spray your skin with water. Now I'm going in with a hydrating serum. This is real important for oily and combo skin. You must hydrate your face. You don't have to use moisturizer with Saint, but you need hydration. My moisturizer today is coming from my SPF, but the, the yellow one is great for oily skin, and you always wanna use two finger lengths. This is gonna give me a glowy, glowy finish. It's beautiful under Saint, and it just protects my skin with an SPF 50. The yellow one I showed you has a matte finish, and it protects also with SPF 50. Never forget the neck, and don't forget the hands, and wait two minutes. Okay. This is not for everyone, but I'm starting to now create dimension on my face with bronzer. I'm a bronzer girl, I'm from Southern California. So we're gonna hit the face where the sun hits us, top of the forehead, nose, cheeks, um, and then I'll take a little bit on the jawline and into the neck area. Not everyone likes bronzer, so maybe you could do contour. Contour is great on the forehead if you have a very high forehead like me. If you have a short forehead, you are going to skip contour altogether. And definitely do not ever contour your temples. We're already hollowing out in the temples. I'm doing my nose, but again, you don't have to. And if you decide to contour your cheek, I want you to do it only if you have a fuller face or a fuller cheek area. If you are a more narrow face or more hollowing out in that area, never ever contour where you are hollowing out. Not everyone needs contour. And then it's great for us older gals on the jawline, the jaw, the jowls, the neck. I do love contour for most women, but you can see the difference. One side is warm and one side is contoured. Now I'm looking for the lighter areas of my face between my brows, my jawline, my upper lip. And I'm starting with a lighter color. This is candlelit. And I'm just applying a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit in the lighter areas. Now I'm gonna go in with the candlelit on my jawline and I'm just kind of applying it, maybe blending a little, but just applying it, not too thin, not too thick. Um, our jaw lines tend to be lighter than the rest of our face, but that's not the case for everyone, especially if you have sun damage. 
And then I find a lot of women have an, a lighter upper lip, so you can always do a lighter color there. Now I'm taking my main color. Now my main color is Athens. It's a little bit deeper, and I'm going to go in all of the areas where I don't have bronzer, where I don't have candle lit, down the center of my nose, the sides of my forehead, my temples, definitely my cheeks. And again, I'm kind of applying and blending, but we're gonna do final blending in a minute. So definitely my cheeks, lightly going over a little bronzer, going over a little contour. Again, cheeks on this side, never do under eyes. We don't do foundation in the under eye when we're more mature. The young girls do that, but we don't. And then definitely my chin has a little bit of discoloration, so I'm taking my Athens there. Now we're gonna take the brush and we're blending everything together. The contour, the bronzer, the Athens, the candle lit, and we're gonna make sure that it all looks like one beautiful layer and we're not seeing anything stand out, we're not seeing any lines, we're not seeing any darkness, it's all blending and becoming one beautiful layer. I love this brush. See how nice that looks? One beautiful, radiant layer. I like to go in with a smaller brush, I'll list it below, but now we're gonna powder in the areas where we need it. Of course, my eyes, all around the nose. Anywhere we have pores, you're gonna wanna do a little bit of powder. And then the sides of the face, because sometimes hair can stick to the makeup when it's fresh. Now, I don't really, I can show you an eye tutorial another time, but I'm just taking a little bit of bronzer, or you could take your contour color, and I'm just lightly, lightly going in to the crease of my eye. If you're hooded, you can go above your lash line a little bit. We're just carving in a little tiny bit of dimension to the eye, and today I just happen to be using my bronzer, but you could definitely use a contour as well, especially if you're more ashy or you're brunette, you could do an ashier color. You don't have to do a bronzer. And then for me, I like a pop of something shimmery just on the center of the eyelid only. That's it. Now I'm taking Demi. This is NV plus one. It creates this beautiful cast shadow around the lash line. And when people get close up to you, it doesn't look like eyeliner. It just looks like this beautiful cast shadow that your lashes are casting. And then I go a little tiny bit under the lashes and now we're gonna use color corrector. So this is 03, and this is gonna color correct the purple and blue around my under eye, but I am putting this on so sheer. This is not concealer, this is color corrector. So it goes on very sheer, and the peach cancels the blue and the purple. See how lightly I'm blending this? This is the bright brush and I'm just going where I have blue and purple. See how I'm covering a few little veins? It's great for covering veins. Now I'm taking 01. I like this under the eye with the fluffy side of the brush because it brightens, it lifts my outer eye. If you're deeper than me and you have golden complexion or olive complexion, you might use Y01, but I won't know until I see your beautiful face. So send me a color match request and I can tell you how to brighten your under eye. And then again, just showing you this side. I'm not going where the O3 is. I'm just going in areas I didn't put O3 and I'm brightening that under eye. See how bright that is? And to cover redness around my nose, I like GY1. It definitely covers all of that redness. If I get a blemish, I love GY1 for blemishes. But again, you might not be GY1, you might be Y01. And I won't know till I see your beautiful face. So send me a free color match. Okay, today I want a little pop of color. So I'm going with our new blush, Jolene. It's a sheer glossy formula. It's very coral. It's kind of coral peachy. And I'm building it up kind of heavy for a reason. I wanna show you what to do if you go, uh-oh, I have too much blush on. But this is sheer and I feel very comfortable with this amount, it's very, very pretty. And I love a little on the bridge of my nose, but you don't have to. Okay, let's say you put on a little too much, even though I love this amount. Take your foundation brush, don't add more foundation, just take your foundation brush and blend a little bit around the seams of the, of the blush and look at that, it blended it in more and softened it. 
Now, we make a lip liner called Suede that you put on with a brush, but quite honestly, I can get lazy. So I'm just using a lip pencil. I think this is Anastasia Rosewood. It doesn't even matter what color lip pencil you use. Just do a lip pencil that you feel real comfortable with. And then I'm gonna put Jolene on the lips. Now, I don't always use Saint on my lips, but if it's a pop of color, then I will use it on my lips. And the Jolene's so pretty because it is that pretty kind of orangey, corally peach. And then I'm taking our peach lip balm. It's not a color, it's sheer, but oh, does it give the most beautiful sheen to the lips without being glossy. It moisturizes and it, and it smells and tastes like peach. Okay, I got a little sunspot. I do sunspots after blush. So I'm going in with a little color corrector and I'm tiny, tiny polka dotting over it, okay? We don't wanna block out color because then we'll see a big block of color. So I'm just po polka dotting a little bit. And then I'm also going into the dents that my readers cause on my nose because it makes me nuts to see those dents. Now, only if you need it, take a little bit more powder to set the makeup. And really, I kind of concentrate just in the T-zone. I kind of do the outside of my face a little bit if I don't want hair to stick to my makeup. And then you can do a little bit of setting spray before the powder or after the powder. It's really your call. Usually I do it before the powder, but I forgot today. Okay, what do you think? Do you think you can do this? Because I do. And I will tell you, I'm looking in a 10 time magnification mirror and I go over every inch of my face. This doesn't even look like makeup on my skin. It just looks like skin. The only place where sometimes I might see a little bit of texture is where I have texture right through here. But with liquid makeup, this will get dry and cakey within an hour. The cream makeup never gets dry and cakey. It always keeps this beautiful hydrated look because it's cream and wax based. And then under the eye will never get cakey because the Demi doesn't get dry or cakey. It's wax based. Wax has sheen. Wax has reflection. So this is close up makeup. You can get in the face of your husband, your best friend, anyone. And it's so pretty close up. And I know you can do it. And I'm glad you're here because my greatest joy is to teach women over 40 how to look and feel better close up call it shallow, but I think when we feel really good in the skin we're in, we just, we go through life differently. We're maybe a little bit more generous or maybe a little bit more kind, more patient. It's just connected to the way we feel about ourselves. It just is. So anyway, you can always find my free color match link and you can always ask for a free color match every single week. I will put it in top comments and you can always click on the title of the post, the video today, and it says more, click more and a drop down menu comes down. You will always see my free color match link. You will always see my mature makeup master class link. But why don't you join those of us who have had our skin transformed by saint makeup and nothing else can really touch it it really is that beautiful it's it's how i feel my most beautiful and i want you to feel that way too okay i hope this helped i hope you like the uh, the shorter form video this time around and um check back saturday because i'm going to take this exact look because remember we're trying to condense in the month of august i'm going to take this exact look i just have on mascara and i want to show you anybody and i mean anybody how to do a false lash i've taught false lashes for 30 years i started teaching in 1992 i can teach anyone how to do false lashes anyone check back saturday i'm glad you're here god loves you so do i bye for now